Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, welcome to Rad Kutsarot, it's Rad, and uh, in this whole video um, I'm going to make a weekly general tarot reading for Libra Sun Moon and as well Rising for the week October 26th to November 1st, 2020. And uh, in case you are interested in a personal reading uh, with me, you can uh, check the description down below and uh, there you're going to find a link to my website. Uh, and in the very front page of it, you're going to see the full list of my services and as well their pricing. Also, if you are drawn to tarot, you want to start reading tarot cards, everybody can do that. You just have to learn them. And if you want to learn them from me, uh, you can also find tarot classes in my website um, under the tarot classes section. So going to the reading itself, it's a uh, eight card spread divided by two layers. The upper layer, it does describe your um, emotions, your romance as well. So you can consider it as a uh, relationship layer. And the bottom layer, it's or the downer layer, it does refer to your um, professional professional manifestation. So it's it's a career layer. And just to make uh, it a bit easier to myself, I'm going to do one layer, interpret it, then I'm going to move to the other layer so I don't get myself distracted. So we do start with the eight of uh, wands with the Wheel of Fortune at the second. Wow. Oh, my God. Right. So moving next, we do have the King of Eight Cups and the Six of Wands at the end. It's very simple, okay? Especially for those that are already dating. It's it's extremely simple. Throughout this week, somebody is going to show up. And I'm saying especially for those that are dating, somebody new is going to show up. That is going to provoke a huge interest. It's almost impossible to resist. And unfortunately, for some of you, you may start considering abandoning your current person of interest for the sake of the new one. And that is going to be a, a grave mistake. OK, it's just saying the person you are dating with, the person that you are involved with emotionally right now, it is the person that you should keep up with moving in this week and i can understand you okay because the person that you are uh, kind of like uh, how can i say emotionally connected with thus far it is that guy obviously here we do have the king of cups and king of cups they're not very good in expressing emotions okay they're not very good with playing along with the game of love uh, it is because they are more prone to make a rational actions rational decisions and for them um, expressing how much they love somebody, it, it's not a mandatory. For them, actions speaks louder than words. They don't consider, you know, um, how can I say, important to tell you how beautiful you look, you know, how much they count on you, how much they love you, and so on and so forth. But their actions, for example, giving you freedom, for example, coming to aid you, to help you, and so on and so forth, for them speaks more than just, you know, flattering you all the time and suffusing you with compliments, which is exactly what the person that you are going to stumble upon throughout this week is about to do. And if you fall for that, if you do fall for the compliments, for the flatter, and so on and so forth, that is going to be, uh, in my words, a grave mistake. Because it's not like this relationship that, or this movement, I would say, that forms here by these two cards isn't going to work out. But it is so much more unstable than what we do have here with the King of Cups. Okay, it's, it's just, it's one wrong step, one misplaced word, you know, or God forbid, some other person that is to replace you, that poses bigger interest, comes about and you're done. Okay, you, you just simply, you have, you are, how can I say, you have no influence there anymore. And to me, this is a completely an unnecessary stress. This is a completely unnecessary venture because with the wants cards, 
relationships are found on interest and passion. It has nothing to do with emotions. And people confuse passion with love. Okay? Butterflies in the stomach, that's passion. Love is something that brings you peace, that brings you serenity, brings, that brings you sense of security, at least in my book. Here we do have a passion. You want the woman, you want the guy, you constantly think about them. That's a passion. And you want things to happen in between you two, while with this one, you have it in the back. It is just like said, they are not very expressionary with uh, with their emotions for they don't consider it important to constantly you know display their emotions they they already made it their point and that's that's pretty much enough for them so regardless whichever you choose by the end of the week here we do have a pretty good time that you're gonna have because the six of wands it kind of speaks for a peak of experiences um depending on what stage of your relationship you are in uh, it will define what kind of a peak of experiences you're going to have. That could be your kiss, it could be your engagement, it could be, uh, you know, how can I, making love with the person you are so attracted into, okay? It does depend what stage you are, once again, it, does, it will define what kind of a peak of experience you're going to have. Just so you know, with the six of uh, wands, is that because of this peak of experience, you should not take it for granted. For the six of wands, it's not the end of the journey and you still need to be alerted. You still need to keep up with the demand of whichever relationship you choose. Once again, here, it's my opinion that you are going to make a grave mistake with this one. Okay, But if you do like to be... Uh, uh, how can I say, involved in a constant drama, in a constant chase, you want to feel the thrill, then by all means, go with this new interaction. If you do want peace and serenity in your love, then you go with the one that already have devoted their emotions to you, which you, by the way, may not be aware of, for as I said, they're not very good into saying them. So, uh, moving next, we do have your uh, professional manifestation, Libra. Here we do have the uh, Justice. Moving next, it is the Four of Swords. After that, it's uh, the Ace of Swords. And the last one is going to be Three of Cups. Pretty generic, to say the least. Um, by now, judging by the Four of Swords into the second position, probably your uh, career environment have been quiet in comparison to what you have experienced, let's say, a few months ago or half a year ago, okay? And that quietness is no longer being placed. In fact, with the justice, uh, there are to be many things that will require your attention, many projects, many tasks, you know, many enterprises as well. And based on the quietness you had experienced thus far, you may find yourself a bit unprepared or a bit, how can I say, rusty. It's, it's the expression you guys, American, uh, Americans are using. You're going to find yourself a bit rusty to undertake so many things at once. And uh, for that reason, you may end up failing into uh, time managing yourself and time managing, you know, your responsibilities or simply said you may fail into acknowledging which thing gets priority over another for the priority here is not going to be determined of how much you like to do one thing over another but it's going to be determined of the sense of emergency that the tasks are bearing with them moving forward so it will be how can i say very appropriate and very important as well I'm sorry for the noise, guys. It's just a car parked outside and they don't stop their engine. I don't know why. So, uh, it will serve you a great deal of benefit if you do take your time to analyze what situation you are thrown into. And under what situation, I mean the entirety of your job and what your job demands from you to do throughout of the week. Or in other words, show a mental strength and as well awareness to put the right diagnosis over the tasks that have been placed in front of you so you can uh, how can i say so you can structure a plan or a, a to-go list okay to-do list i'm sorry 
and just move consistently throughout those to-do lists. By the end of the week, everybody is going to be happy. Everybody is going to be uh, pretty relieved that, you know, despite that the business came up out of nowhere, everybody would have been able to handle it. And uh, as well, the Three of Cups produces results based on performance in terms of career. So your performance, you don't have to wait too long to see the fruits of your labor. So that being said, uh, Libra, that was your weekly general tarot reading. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you liked it. Oh, I forgot to mention um, about those that are a jobless. And for them, it's very likely that they're going to find themselves a job. I cannot say if it's going to be a good one or a bad one. It's going to be exactly the one that they are fit for. Okay. So, and you have to, by the way, start looking for it actively having the four of swords here. So uh, that being said, again, that was your weekly general tarot reading Libra. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.